others, their way of looking at things is not completely crazy. To live in peace and quiet in the country, you have to follow the country's special rules. It just so happens that one of these rules was to not accept a bride like Mina. I was born and raised in that village, and I know the village code. I know it all too well, which is why I have been in such pain all these months. I am a weakling, I suppose. In your eyes, I'm probably so weak you want to spit on me. So laugh at me, hit me, despise me if you want to. Come on, hit me again. Alex thrust his face at Kaim for more punishment, and Kaim threw another punch. This one landed squarely on his nose and may have broken it. Alex crumpled to his knees. The blood gushed, gushed from his nose, was blacker than the blood from his mouth. Alex looked up at Kaim with a smile of self de derision. Does that say derision? This is blurry to me. Mina should have been with you. That's what I think. If she had married you and not some weakling like me, she'd still be alive. See, this is hard. You can't. Why are you guys putting it on Kaim? Because Kaim left her. I'm surprised Alyssa and Air Force are not on Kaim's side. With a wordless straight cry of rage, Kaim lunged at Alex, grabbing him by the collar and hoisting him to his feet. Another punch, and still another. Kaim was not planning to stop at punching Alex. Now though, with Kaim's hand still fastened to the front of his shirt, Alex looked straight at Kaim for the first time since coming to the dock. Why didn't you ever answer Mina's letters? That's all she was hoping for, was a letter from you. These stories are so damn long, they are even longer than my penis. timing holy shit that was hilarious that's gonna get highlighted for sure <laughs> that was awesome <laughs> it was like super moody and then just <laughs> just boom nomad dancing I should have had it bigger damn it I need to make it bigger Okay. <laughs> what system is this for? This is for 360. 360 exclusive. <laughs> it made me day better. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was hilarious. Kaim was not planning on planning to stop punching Alex. Now though, with Kaim's hand still fastened to the front of his shirt, Alex looks straight at Kaim for the first time since coming to the dock. Why didn't you ever answer Mina's letter? That's all she was hoping for. A letter from you. So he knew Alex knew everything. It's terrible out there in my country. Anybody who wants to can find out who wrote letters and who got them. Everybody out there is like family. Everybody but Mina, that is. If Alex had wanted to, he could have quashed, he could have quashed Mina's letters easily. Then not one of her and her little lies would have reached Kaim.
But instead, Alex read the letters, revealed the envelopes, or released the envelopes and sent them to Kaim, one after another. He had internalized Mina's sad little lies and started looking for Kaim's answers even before she did. Kaim stopped his fist in midair and asked, how could, have I po how could I have possibly answered her? Why not, Alex re retorted. You knew how trapped she was feeling. You must have known how much encouragement one word from you could have given her. But you were Mina's husband. Yes, that's true. But you were always the one deepest in her heart. I knew that, and because I knew it, there was only one thing I could do. No, that couldn't be. Holy shit, this is so heavy. Astounded, Kaim lowered his fist as Alex said to him, I wrote to her, I pretended I was you, and I wrote her letter after letter. Be strong, I told her. Keep your spirits up. I'll come to see you soon. You're too strong, Kaim, so you can't understand the feelings of weak people. He wrote letters to his own wife as Kaim to try to make her happy? But I don't have that problem. I'm weak. I understand how a weakling like Mina felt. Alex cried, the blood dreaming from his nose and mouth. There was one thing I don't know, though, Kaim. I don't know whether Mina actually believed that the letters I wrote were from you, or whether she knew what I was doing and pretended to believe. I wonder, was life in my village so painful for her that she couldn't go on living without pretending to believe? Kaim said no attempt to answer Alex's question. Slowly, he, left, he let the strength go out of his...